Hey loves, I'm back at it again, serving you the best and of course the hottest recap on the TikTok community. And you guys, I think Charlie D'Amelio got the shock of her life this morning when she woke up to see a 55 year old woman coming for her. If you couldn't tell, I'm obviously talking about Abby Lee Miller. So without further ado loves, let's take a deep breath and get right into the tea. So like, how are we going to stop Abby Lee Miller from coming for and bullying literal teenagers? This woman ain't taking a rest and she is 55. Anyways, I'm pretty sure you guys know how problematic Abby Lee Miller is by now and how she tries to keep herself relevant by stirring up drama with teenagers all the time. I mean, do y'all remember when she had an internet war with Kenzie Ziegler after she threw shade at her for no reason? Exactly. And she hasn't even moved on. I... In fact, this time, Abby decided to let go of Kenzie Ziegler and come after Charlie D'Amelio instead by making a very shady comment under one of her posts saying this. TikTok dancer who reigns supreme? Please turn those feet out. Clearly, you guys, it looks like Abby doesn't even know that there's a thing called posing in pictures. SMH. Anyways, as if this wasn't bad enough, y'all, most people then took Abby's comment a lot more personally, since it seems like she was also making fun of Charlie's dancing skills. Sis, you need to stop doing so much. Now, after this, many were actually expecting Charlie to respond back at Abby, but nope. She actually decided to remain silent on the entire situation while letting her fans attack Abby on her behalf. She can't tell her how to stand when she can't stand herself. I get that she's a dance teacher and all, but sis is just posing, child. Can she just leave these teenagers alone? Like, doesn't she already have enough money and clout? Not gonna lie, y'all. I honestly have no clue where this drama could go from here on, but I'm pretty sure Abby will continue shading Charlie for the sake of staying relevant. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Abby shading Charlie? Also, let me know down below if you think Charlie should respond back at her. I know for a fact Griffin Johnson is regretting the days he cheated on Dixie, since his name keeps getting mentioned in every diss track at the moment. If you guys have no clue what I'm talking about, um, now I see why Dixie chose him. He hit different. Cause he got a bigger Peter. Ain't that right, Griffy? Yeah, that's enough to make Griffin hide from the internet for an entire week. All jokes aside, you guys, even though Larry's diss track on Griffin was made just for entertainment, it looks like some TikTokers took it to a whole new level. And I guess y'all already know who I'm talking about. Of course, none other than TikToker Alyssa, who decided to step up her game and make a full diss track on Griffin and Dixie's relationship this week. Check this. Alyssa dropped this diss track. Griffin Johnson decided to respond back and put Alyssa in her place by saying how her diss track sounds way worse than the diss track he made on Dixie. This is cracking me up. This is worse than convenient and I didn't even know that was possible. Now, while Griffin was out here thinking he ended this feud with Alyssa, he wasn't really aware on what was coming at him next. Since a random dude came out of nowhere and called Griffin out for hanging out with minors, aka the top talent show last week. <laughs> Of course, Griffin later decided to respond back at him, and surprisingly, he actually played it smart this time by pulling an Uno reverse card at the TikToker. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this. I understand my responsibility of needing to be an adult and good influence, but I get bashed every day, and sometimes it just makes me feel better to defend myself. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Griffin still receiving hate from the entire internet? Do you think he deserves to be called out to this day? Let me know in the comment section below. Y'all better not defend Bryce Hall ever again from now on, unless he takes accountability for the huge fight he caused at a restaurant yesterday. To give you guys a little bit more details, not even a month ago, Bryce got himself into a huge mess after he was caught beating up a random guy on the streets. But the internet was very quick to forgive him after sources confirmed that he was getting harassed by that guy at first. However, things are slowly taking a turn now since a lot of people are canceling Bryce for good now after footage of him fighting with a staff member at a restaurant went viral on social media. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh. 
Batman. Now, to be clear, it hasn't been 24 hours since the video was posted, so we can't really hear both sides of the story. But according to TMZ, Bryce was the main cause of the entire fight after he illegally started vaping at the restaurant when the staffers told him not to. I mean, Bryce and the Sway Boys were quick to jump the employees after throwing multiple punches, which left many employees having bruised faces and broken hands. Now guys, I won't be sitting here confirming what TMZ says is 100% correct, but it seems like many people are tired of letting Bryce get away with everything he's done, and he's now getting canceled by tons of people online. He needs to grow up. He's not 17 anymore. This sh is getting ridiculous. Literally, he's a grown up. Who gave these TikTokers a right to disrespect people with jobs? He continues to make mistakes after apologizing, but no one's ready for that combo. To be very honest, I'm not sure whether I should believe TMZ or Bryce Hall in this situation. But let's just wait with jumping to conclusions and wait for the entire truth to be out soon. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Bryce still fighting people in public? Also, let me know in the comments your thoughts on today's recap. I love you the absolute most.